right, y'all, welcome back. So we're in the van and we're in a Walmart parking lot. And I'm out here today uh, to pick up a bunch of stuff for the van. So I finished the bed. I took it out for a night. It's going to work for now. We'll run it this way for the rest of the season for sure. 99% sure we'll leave the bed in the back here as it is. Uh, but I've got my tape measure. And I'm going to try to find some better totes to go under here. Because, so this one's just got a little bit of fishing gear in it. But as you see, if I slide it under there, oop, put it under there, there's quite a bit of room left. Um, so I'm gonna take some measurements and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna pick up, try to find some better totes. There is also a Menards. Oh, it's over there. Way over yonder that direction. Uh, what I can't get here, I'll pick up there. I'm also gonna get things like jumper cables, like a safety, I don't know, roadside kit if they've got something. I could use a tow strap, uh, possibly some leveling blocks, fire extinguisher, you know, things like that. So I'm gonna try to outfit with uh, the type of stuff that I don't wanna like move back and forth from the truck when I'm camping all the time. Um, and then I am also somewhat kind of looking for something that I could put here. The issue is I can't block the vent, so whatever I need whatever I put here should be open on the back uh, but maybe some sort of table it'd be nice to be able to run the cooler right there I can run the cooler in between the seats but um, if somebody were to get pulled over and there was a, a police officer or somebody that was having that was not having it you could potentially get in trouble I think for that if I would have beer in the cooler because it's within reach I don't know it's all closed uh, probably kind of a gray area if it's all closed up, but I'd like to run it right there anyways So I don't uh, Interrupt that space in front of the in between the seats for now, especially since I'm planning to get a seat swivel at some point um, But we're gonna do some stuff like that. I don't know. I've got a bunch of stuff listed on my phone so I'm gonna take some measurements and We're gonna go shopping. I'll take you guys shopping today with me I think we'll get two, maybe four. We'll start with two of these. I think we'll try this under the bed. It's a rug pad, four by six foot. I don't know. It's probably a good cheap option to give it a give it a whirl. <laughs> What I honestly think is happening is that when I sit on the edge of the bed, since the mattress does hang over a little bit, like me sitting on it and moving around is kind of pulling it forward and not just like the mattress itself trying to push itself off. So I may really actually need to put a lip on there. We'll see how this works though. Well, it's hard to believe that's $110 worth of stuff, but I guess fire extinguishers aren't cheap, right? I'll put this card away. 
ver. Mostly I need to make sure that these things fit underneath the bed. Let me roll my windows down. It's warmish back here. Good enough. So I kind of looked around maybe for something that would fit over here. And I feel dumb because I didn't measure, but I'm going to measure the floor and uh, maybe I'll run over to Menards see I'm trying to find if see if I can find some kind of cool carpet that I could lay down right here since I do have this one panel that sat in front of the seats I guess if you guys don't remember there's that under there from where the old seats were at but all right let's see if one of these things will fit it's gonna be a tight fit That's why I didn't go and buy like four or six of them or something because I really wasn't sure how well it was going to fit under there. It slides right in with no room to spare. What happens if I sit over here? That's fine. Well, that's actually nice. They're in there, they're stuck in there. So it's almost like a drawer. It's a drawer with a lid. I should be able to put two of them side by side. I didn't grab a bunch because I still have that power box and got to organize some of that stuff. And I can use those little totes for a while. So this is good for now. I grabbed a couple of these fans. Which I'm sure don't have a charge. Oh, this is the one I opened up in the store. So these are USB rechargeable. I doubt it would run all night, but I'm sure you can leave it plugged in. It's got three speeds. It looks like a little computer fan, basically. It can move up and down a little bit, but that should sit in the window all right. Might need to like, I don't know, put something on there. It's actually, it could be a little bit bigger, but I figured get two. Maybe I can run them in those back windows. I don't know. We'll give those a whirl at some point. And what else? Oh, we got the non-skid mat. We'll wait till we get home. I don't have any idea where I'm going to put this fire extinguisher. This is bigger than the one that I have, the two that I have in the truck, I guess. So we've got to find a spot for that that's easily accessible. I don't know, doesn't even fit in the tote. Probably if I took it out of the box and a trash can, which will probably just sit right here for now. There is my CO detector. Gotta figure out a better spot for that because I set it off the other day with my cooler, but there we go. That can sit right there for now. And I'll put, I'll use a trash bag for this. Should have, I really should have a tripod with me. How does that work? Hopefully these work all right in here, since I always have them. But I needed a trash can. Yeah, these aren't, aren't the greatest. Might need to actually get bags that fit appropriately. But that's better than nothing, because there's nowhere to put anything in here. Doesn't feel bad with the fan or with the windows open. If I had those dang pop out windows in the back, it would the air would be going straight through here right now. But I don't really like to drive around with those screen windows open because they flop around really hard. So alright, we'll leave this stuff in the box. I needed to pick up thermocell refills, so I've got those. They had a couple of safety. Hopefully you guys are even seeing me. They had a couple of like safety kits, roadside emergency kit type deals. 
but none of them looked very nice, like worth the money to me uh, for what you're getting in them. So I might have to try to like put one together myself, but we'll go check a bunch more stores today. I've got a few more places to go and then I'm gonna go hit like Goodwill and see if I can find a table or something. I don't even know what's all under here right now. Everything is disorganized. This could go in something. For now, anyways. Should be able to fit two of these side by side in here, one would hope. I guess if I don't have my that, that right there. I guess that adds a lot of like sturdiness to the bed too. I could put four of those in there. We'll just see how those work for now with what I've got. Because I've got to put a bunch of crap in the back. I'm just like shoving stuff in here anywhere it'll fit. And this we'll probably slide around but we'll just we'll just set the fire extinguisher right down in the step for now I thought about maybe like mounting it right here on the side of my uh, chair it probably won't be in the way it could go back here it's not amazingly accessible but I don't know I don't really want it like out here anywhere right here would probably be fine but for now, we'll go there. All right, what did I do with the pages? Here we go. All right. I think we'll head over to Menard since we're right here and see if we can find, like, see if they've got a better thing, like jumper cables and stuff. If not, I might go over to Harbor Freight and get all of those things because it'll be probably the cheapest stuff. But we'll check out Menard's first. Well, I got out of there without spending any money. I didn't find really anything I felt that was worth it there. Uh, kind of looked at their totes. They didn't have any carpets that I liked. So. All right. I'll figure out where I'm going next, I guess. I think I'm somewhere near a, a Goodwill, actually. Probably go over there and check that out. Man, I kind of feel like I need this. It's kind of broken though. That would be cool just to carry around, take up space, but same thing with this one. What's in the tape deck? Don't know. Oh, it's blank. There's another one. Don't need a jug, but. Gotta be a typewriter or something in there. I don't know. Oh, look at that.
and that's almost cool enough. I'll check that out. Yeah, that would be kind of neat in there. Wouldn't have room for my cooler though. I think that's about it in here, honestly. It's definitely the time to eat some lunch. It's probably one o'clock by now. I'm hungry. Yeah, it's 1.04. All right, let's go get something to eat. Can I get the Cayenne Ranch sandwich? The meal or myself? Uh, I'll do the meal. All right, what did you want to drink? Uh, Dr. Pepper, please. Can I make that a large for you today? Sure. Yeah, That'll be it. All right, the Cayenne Ranch sandwich, real the large Dr. Pepper. 1093 at the window. All right, thank you. Y'all stopped at a place called Slim Chickens. I don't know where else they have these stores at. Yeah, really needs more ventilation back here. It's just not really not ideal. Why don't we sit back here, and have something to eat while I start sweating? Probably. Ooh, that's warm. Yeah, so I'd like something over here that the cooler could go underneath of. And, you know, it gave me a table right here. Some people build little tables right here on the side. Uh, they build a little cabinet that'll, like, maybe come to the end of this door. When you open it, you still have all this extra room up here. So I might end up putting a tiny little cabinet here. That would be kind of beneficial. I think ultimately... I think ultimately it's just going to come down to uh, the stuff that I choose to carry on a regular basis and the amount of space that I need. Uh, yeah, it's warmish in here. Really wish I had the pop-out windows, especially in the back. The side ones would be nice, but the rear ones, because, you know, I've got these two little windows open, but it's just so closed up in the back that or the roof fan. I know everybody's been saying put a roof vent in, but the goal is to put this thing in the garage over the winter. So first I need to make sure if it checks. First I need to check and make sure how it fits in the garage and if I can add that onto the roof because if you put a roof vent on there, it's gonna end up probably three or four inches at least above the roof line. And I might need that space. So, we shall see. But check out this spicy chicken sandwich. I think it just got like spicy ranch or something on it. As far as like a, a cabin over here, since this is almost the height of this, that's nice. But I honestly wouldn't mind if the cabinet came up higher, since as far as you're going to be able to push it back is here, unless you built the back of it out a little bit. But uh, 
you'll still get airflow, but if I built it up, maybe, maybe let's say like to here, then there's a big gap in the back uh, for airflow. I could have a couple of drawers up here. I could have maybe like a sliding kind of table or cutting board thing that would come out to give me more counter space in here to work with. And then obviously that gives me more storage. We'll hit at least one more store. We'll go to Harbor Freight. I do still need a, a uh, first aid kit. We'll see where else we can find to look for one of those. My trash can is already coming in handy. plus side one of the plus sides of that is is I can reach behind me and put stuff in there while I'm driving but is this door closed let's get back on the road where I have to hold my drink in between my legs because this stupid cup holder thing that I bought here that thing is worthless there's no appropriate place to put it And it's not like stiff enough. I don't know if you had to set it down, but I wouldn't do it. All right, off to uh, Harbor of the Freights. Alright, alright, alright. Made it to Harbor Freight. I suppose that can that could sit on my worthless cup holder. I almost just knocked it over there. And 40 bucks for a soft shackle, that's kind of crazy. Ugh, I bought one. I wanted one for the truck. I don't know. I bought it, doesn't matter. Some jumper cables, those will be good enough. And 6,000 pound, 30 foot strap. So that should be good. Uh, you don't really need one of those because you can loop this around once, pull it, and then use that if necessary. So that was only about $80. It's crazy how expensive stuff has gotten. 180 bucks, and I don't feel like I've really bought anything. But uh, one thing I really would still like to go pick up is a first aid kit. I'm trying to think of over here where I could go to that's worth it. Maybe I'll just stop at another Walmart and see if they've got it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's where I got the last one. Or maybe we won't pick that up today. But I'm going to go look for that. That'll be the last thing for today because I really don't want to spend any more money. And I didn't even knock off half my list. But we'll get, we'll go see if we can find that. Then we'll get headed home and try to organize this a little bit. Make sure I grab my drink so I don't spill it everywhere. So I've made it back to another Walmart. That doesn't look terrible, a little, little small. But here's the, I've been looking for one of these. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this one. It's not, not as big as I remember them being, 
Maybe I need to order one of these online. I remember these things being way, way larger. But I'd like one of these pillows with the little arms on it for chilling in the corner. I don't know, 15 bucks? I just swear these are bigger. No, but that would be nice back there. Wish this was blue. All right, we're just gonna put that back. Not today. I came here for a dang old first aid kit, not a fluffy pillow. Although I really want the fluffy pillow. Next time. Did want a rain jacket. I might have an extra rain jacket at home, but I have that on my list. And an umbrella, which I know I've got one of those at home. Do they got any cool pocket knives? No. Got one of those at home. Another CRKT minimalist. My problem uh, with pocket knives is I carry them in my left pocket. The way I like to carry it, the, uh, the clip has to be adjustable. And like 90% of the ones you find, the clip is not adjustable to either side. I mean, this would definitely work. It's probably good enough. Do I go with the cheaper one? 250 items. You want to make sure, like, where you need to add, um, but get something that's got like Tylenol, if possible, stuff that has like a modium AD for like anti-diarrheal stuff if you need it. 250, that's only a 140. Well, we'll get this one, it's bigger. And I think that's all I'm gonna spend today. It's more than enough. Not everything on my list, but we knocked out at least half of it. Let's go pay for this stuff. All right, we've made it home. We've got wet spots all over my pants. Uh, so the only thing I picked up in that last round was this fur date, was this first aid kit, which looks to be pretty, pretty well stocked for what what we would typically need. And then I picked up these leveling blocks. Um, I have some leveling ramps in the truck, but I thought these would be, they take up a little bit less space, hopefully. And uh, even if I have to lay them on their side, they'll fit underneath the bed somewhere. Uh, and they're kind of like Lego blocks, so you can do whatever you need to do with those. Uh, and then up here, we've got our recovery strap jumper cables and a soft shackle so let's see what we can do with some of this stuff where some of it can go we'll use one of these I guess for our shackle we'll take that out of the container can't believe these are 40 bucks but it's probably also one of the cheapest ones on the market Try not to cut it. So I've never personally used one of these, but instead of using a D-ring, you get this big, soft D-ring that you can wrap around your, you know, if you need to wrap it around something and then hook it to your toe strap. And it says it's rated for 9,500 9, pounds. So, should be, should be good. And it fits right in there. Shouldn't come apart when you start tugging on it. That'll go down there. It's nice that these have a little container. This'll go in here. What else did I pick up that would go in there? Look at that. My first aid kit fit in there, yeah. Probably won't leave that in there, but we'll see. Uh, for now, I could put this underneath one of my front seats 
they're open in the front, but I don't have any way from, I don't have any way to keep stuff from sliding forward yet. And if I put swivel bases on there, then those won't work anyways under there. So camera gear. <sighs> All right. Oh, it's warm in here. Got some fish in here. This. This is all just camera gear. There's a couple of tripods and a couple of camera lights in here. That's not going to, I guess, receive an assignment to live under the bed um, because that's gonna get moved back and forth. It might just travel in the front. That's where I put it in the truck was I put it in the front floorboard after I picked that up, but I don't think it'll fit up here. So it might have to just ride on the seat. It's a little bit of extra fishing gear. This is gonna go inside for now. This fan. What is in here? So we've got more lights and kind of junk in here right now. What could go? So here's my other first aid kit. That's the one that I had on the first trip with the van when Travis cut his finger open. This is like what I take on the motorcycle, uh, what I take hiking or on tent camping trips. So this is like my mobile one. So that's gonna go back in the house. Um, got some thermocell refills we'll put in here. There's another fan. I don't believe these fans are both gonna fit inside of this thing. I guess I never even checked to see if either of them had a charge. I'm going to say I doubt it. It did come with cords. No juice. Doesn't move a ton of air, but it's better than nothing. And they'll fit right in the windows. So it's kind of what I'm stuck with. You can't put a big fan in there. I mean, it's, it's better than nothing. I know you guys can't feel that, uh, but they should, they should work and they won't draw a ton of power, which is also nice. I have this little one. which honestly, this one felt, it's not charged. This one felt like it pushed more air. We'll see. Let's see if we can fit both of these in this little box. Might have to use this bigger tote. Crash. Yeah. All right, we're gonna shove everything in this one, I guess. Some of this stuff will probably get moved. Hammock, cheap hammock straps, and then our fans, lights. This, this will probably live somewhere else. It's folding saw. For now, it's gonna go in here. Cause I don't know where else to put anything. Get our other cord. Do that one. That's all trash. Lantern in there. Put my knife back in my pocket so I don't cut myself. All right, well. A little bit better than the last one. Probably put a few more things in it, but. That's good. We've got this one, some of our recovery stuff in here. I do need to figure out a jack and where I'm gonna store a jack. I have that bottle jack in the truck. We might end up using that in here and getting a bigger one for the truck, I don't know. Uh, 
but I've got the spare on the back there and I don't have a jack and I don't have any tools in here. I had planned to buy like a tool kit today, but I've got a lot of extra tools in the garage, extra screwdrivers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go through and try to make one. Um, I've also got a bunch of tools, a bunch of tools in the truck. So we can kind of go through some of that stuff uh, to see what we really need to carry around consistently. So that's that. Kind of sweaty right now. So I'm going to wait to do this until we go camping probably tomorrow. Uh, and I guess keep going over my list of what I need. Man, I really don't feel like I bought much today. This stuff... And these leveling blocks and a trash can. And I spent like 200 something dollars. That's crazy. But it's all stuff we need. I mean, I'm not going to keep bringing this stuff back and forth from the truck to here once the truck's running again. So, which, like I said before, since I'm sure somebody's going to ask, we're going to get that thing running in September. So, just stacking some change back up in the bank after this van purchase and now all of this stuff. All right. Next we'll uh, have to start figuring out not only what kind of junk do I have in here that I really don't need, but um, what I want at the front, what I'm gonna be able to access easily and what's gonna go at the back. Uh, this stuff can go in the back end of it along with that this tote we want up here so shove that one under there for now this is our little fishing kit we'll leave that here that's going to get updated and probably put into a tackle some sort of small tackle bag that that rod will also fit in i don't have anything small enough that the rod's going to fit in but it fits in there and really, I think that's about it. Let's get our stuff put away to a, to a point here. This thing is kind of big and in the way. But the only thing, I have another tote like this under there that has some trash bags, toilet paper, uh, baby wipes, and things like that in it. We'll probably go through that eventually also this i'll take back in the house today along with the cooler but let's see if we can go shove these in through the back side somewhere and for now i'm just going to leave this sit right here so i don't really know where i want to put it I always do it the wrong way. Yep. Oh, food. There's food. I forgot about that one. Uh, the jet boil. I don't know if that needs to go in that other tote, but we're going to have to probably get another one of these to put some food and stuff in. Fingers crossed this fits. Yes. Fingers crossed. No, it's not going to work. I was hoping I could shove it in there. It's not going to fit in there. This fit right here before the hump. Nope. So there's a bummer with this. That's as far in as it'll go because it's hitting that bump that's down here. And I don't think it's going to fit sideways with these blocks right here. That's craptastic. Can we fit it right here next to the chair? Yep. There we go. Well, yeah, I was hoping those would fit in a little bit better, but it is what it is. That's why I kind of want to, over the winter, redo this and maybe do aluminum framing. But for now, I guess the food's just going to go back in there. Right there. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. We still have a lot of stuff on the list to pick up, but uh, we got what we could today. 
So I guess stay tuned for the next camping video because we're going to head out tomorrow and hopefully do a few days. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.